your battery is low. You need to recharge. Hello, beautiful people, my gorgeous girls. Good morning. And guess what? We are going to get ready together. And today I want to talk about things that I do, especially when I'm feeling exhausted or tired, burnt out, overwhelmed, especially as we enter the winter arc. I know a lot of us are in the fall season and you know the energy in the morning is just quite low or maybe you just feel like you're exhausted throughout the day i just wanted to share what i do and how i'm able to continue going after my goals during this season during the fall during the winter when you're really just looking to be cozy and comfortable let's get into it also i just wanted to show you guys my face so fresh face look at it i just did my baby hairs real quick and i did my normal skincare routine with my face wash which is soap and glory and then after that i'm just using witch hazel and vitamin c which you can use from any brand these are the products that i finish off with on my face and this is what i look like oh my god i can't believe my skin looks this good i mean I told you guys in a video, I think two weeks ago when we first started this challenge, that I wanted my skin to be glowy. Obviously, I could go outside like this and I already feel really good. But today I wanna do my makeup and film some videos. So I wanna take you with me. Let's get started. Five things I do when I'm feeling overwhelmed or exhausted or burnt out especially as a woman okay we are out here trying to go after our goals and not lose ourselves whether you're single or you're in a relationship of course we can all relate because we've gone through many seasons similar seasons and i promised myself that i would always assess my emotions assess my energy levels and become aware of how i'm feeling and when you're en route on your journey of you know reinventing yourself glowing up and becoming the better version of you there is no smooth sailing and you're not always going to feel a hundred percent and that is why in my videos i talk about always doing the bare minimum effort of just doing one thing at least per day that sets you up for success that adds to you number one ladies i tend to stop and assess my emotions and my energy levels and really acknowledge how i'm feeling that way once i've acknowledged how i'm feeling i can set myself up and make certain plans and moves to add to myself because if you don't assess how you're feeling you're going to be living on survival mode and you don't want to be living on survival mode because you can feel that through your productivity you can feel that through your conversations or your attitude maybe you're a little bit more agitated so just assessing your overall mood your energy levels especially when you're getting close to your period is going to be so imperative to your overall success and just holding you accountable to who you want to become especially as you're working towards your dream woman assess how you're feeling process your emotions sometimes you actually have to call yourself out and just you know really have a chat girl chat with yourself like what's going on right now shan like how are you feeling who upset you what's going on you know how are you really feeling and maybe you have to remove yourself from something or remove something from you maybe you've been eating terribly so your mood has been fluctuating maybe you keep waking up and you're not feeling that well the weather is changing so these are the acknowledgements that you need to have with yourself so that you can make some small changes towards your goals that are going to ensure that you achieve your goals number two ladies avoid planning too many things or committing yourself to too many things when you're feeling 
overwhelmed and burnt out. This would be the time where I would assess my routine. I would assess my schedule and see if there are any gaps where I can rest. Rest a little bit more and physically and mentally recover, even emotionally, just fill my cup. Personally, for me, I make sure that I have at least one day in the week to go slow, to not have too many things that I've committed to. It's an unplanned day. I think those are so important in your monthly schedule, in your weekly schedule, whether you have two hours to be intentional with yourself. And I mean, I'm not on my phone during this time. I'm out living presently in the world. I'm gonna do my foundation now. I'm out presently living in the world and I'm just being me and I'm not, and I have no obligations. I have nothing to commit to. I have nowhere I need to be. I am literally just going with a free day and I still eat well. I still wake up and fuel my body. I still get up and do my hot girl walk and I drink my water. I still keep my hot girl routine going. I just make sure that I'm going with the flow of how I want my day to go. And sometimes you need those free days to just like sleep in and go slow and eat a nice meal, not in a rush or not having to answer messages and emails and people. It's like when you see all these notifications and you have all these obligations, constantly you're gonna be overly stimulated and overwhelmed. I know this for sure. Since starting my YouTube channel, I see the messages coming in, but mentally, I need to recover and recharge in order for me to even make good content consistently. And so I always have to take free days to just slow down and go with the pace. Also, I take a lot of naps. So during the fall and the winter, when the seasons are changing, I like to plan in some naps, some cuddles, whether you're single or in a relationship, I think it's so important for you to just cuddle with yourself. This is when I up like a lot of self-love and just like really leaning into my feminine side of just like nurturing myself and paying attention to my emotions and my exhaustion, just like making sure that I'm filling my cup for me. You gotta fill your cup for you so that you can go back into the world and give and also feel free to take things off your plate if you're feeling burnt out maybe you have to delegate a task to a team member at work or your partner or your roommate i had one client and she's amazing i'll just even show you guys her transformation that she's done it's amazing and we met here on YouTube. And she's so smart, she's so intelligent, she has such a great attitude, and she's so self-aware for a young lady, like she's younger than me. And she was telling me, you know, she had gotten sick and she was feeling a little bit burnt out and overwhelmed. And now she's trying to get back into her routine. So she split up her to-do list with her partner and her partner was able to complete the to-do list the way that she would do it. And so that's super important to communicate when you're feeling burnt out with the people around you for them to help. If everyone just added to the contribution, the work gets done a lot faster. There's going to be no fights and there's going to be just like a really good household that everybody is on the same page. And that is so healthy. I even have to do that in my relationship because I wasn't a communicator like that in my past relationship and I just noticed that I would still be burnt out trying to clean a whole home, still be burnt out trying to do this, this, and this. And I get it, women are multitaskers, but we still need to ask for help sometimes from our men, especially if you're trying to turn a house to a home. Men aren't here just to provide and protect. Men are here to also contribute, just as women are here to contribute as well in many ways, not just be, I'm a princess or I'm a girl, I'm so Sorry, no, it's everyone, including a man, can burn out, okay? Women and men. Which leads me to number three, make a to-do list. Go off of what is a priority and then work in stages based on your energy and your time. And then make sure to reassure yourself that it's going to get done. I had a client that also mentioned that she had so many tasks to do over the period of her not feeling her best 
and it gave her much anxiety because she had so much to do. And sometimes we don't realize that regardless of how we feel, it's eventually gonna get done. And so it's super important for you to prioritize what is most important first and work from that. Our strategy was just taking some time off from the gym to just get what she needed to get done for work. That way she worked longer, she prioritized getting her steps instead of going to the gym and steps. So she was still contributing to her weight loss goal as she was working towards the deadlines that she had at work and so you're not always going to be able to commit to your health goals something always is going to have to give but that doesn't mean that you fall off track completely that just means that you can't do all of it at this moment prioritize what is necessary first and then go down the list once you're going down the list and you're checking things off you will see there was no need for you to build up anxiety or feel anxious towards what needs to get done also i have setting powder on my face and it is a ben nye powder and just reassure yourself ladies that it's gonna get done don't work yourself up like i mentioned in one of my videos recently like we like to complain and cry about things that are not gonna matter in a matter of minutes weeks months years from now right and there's no moment like the present moment there's nothing like that and sometimes when we are stressed about so many things or overly stressed and compromising our health and our happiness we forget that this is the present moment that we are in control of and everything is going to happen the way it's meant to happen so there's no point in stressing over a few things you have to sit down and just delegate like what is going to be the most um, what is priority right now what can you control right now and not think about like the future and not think about down the line just think about taking the first step towards what you need to get done and I relate this back to weight loss goals a lot of people want to think about oh my god I need to lose 20 pounds I need to lose 50 pounds and they get so worked up while they're trying to make steps actionable steps that every time they look at the scale and they only see and they only see that they've lost one pound they're like oh my god this is not working this, i mean it may not be working because you don't have proper guidance which if you need guidance definitely fill out the link below but you're also not consistent you're also just expecting results immediately you're expecting instant gratification the minute you start rather than being consistent in the little things that you could do that are going to contribute to your overall success your overall progression towards the goal baby steps are so important just like a baby has to learn how to walk you have to learn how to go through progression and stop trying to rush everything stop trying to think of the end stop trying to think like a baby is not thinking about, oh, when I can walk. They're just trying every single day to master how to walk. And every time they try each day, they get closer and closer to knowing how to walk. And then eventually they know how to walk. So just remember that everything has baby steps. And that's like so important to not get yourself worked up or anxious about everything. How we looking girls i'm gonna do my lashes now and then i'm going to set the perimeter of my face if you're liking this video so far don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and send your love below let's hype up the girls now that we're getting closer to the end okay hype 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 yes 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 all right um number four intentionally rest to rest recover recharge fill your cup it's empty <laughs> it's empty your cup is empty and you have to become aware when your cup is empty you cannot pour from an empty cup your battery is low you need to recharge it's so important especially when you feel like you're on zero you're literally on the red hanging on and surviving 
around this time when I'm recharging and resetting, especially once a week, like on a Sunday, I posted on my shorts, like I was going out and I was doing my three R's, rest, recover, recharge, so important. Put a cute outfit on, maybe do your makeup. I don't think I had makeup on, but just making myself feel really good to go out for a walk or take myself out for a coffee. And again, like I mentioned in the earlier tip is just like not having so many things on my to-do list, especially once a week, just going with the flow. So I like to do a lot of low maintenance tasks. I like to do anything that's like low maintenance self-care. So I prefer to be pampered around this time. Like we like to get our nails done or a facial or a massage, especially if the body is feeling tired. If my girls are training, you need to be getting a massage at least once a month. And I mean a sports therapy massage where they're really working on your muscle. I do Graston, I do dry needling, I do cupping as well, or lymphatic drainage massage. Those are really good, especially when you're looking to see definition in your body and your arms and stuff. That is really important for you to just have low maintenance tasks where, I wouldn't say have a bunch of appointments, I would just say like choose one and just going to a nice therapeutic moment. You can even do activities like yoga, maybe Pilates if you're feeling exhausted and overwhelmed. And that's what rest days are for as well. It's like you're not always training heavy and intense. You have to give your body time to rest and recover. And while you're resting and recover, don't forget to hydrate. Don't forget to eat well and add to, to your recovery, add to filling your battery back up because you have to be mindful of the food that you eat if you're not fueling your body as well with nutrients and the vitamins and water that it needs you're not contributing to filling your body back up and recharging what needs to be charged a lot of people are going to feel drained constantly because of the food that they eat right because they lack water so they're dehydrated and how can you function if you have no actual nutrients did you know that you get a lot of vitamins through food which you don't really have to supplement with vitamins if you eat quality foods your vegetables your fruits your carbs your proteins right it's not going to be found in your fast food babe it's not going to be found in your fast food it's not going to be found in pre-made warm-up dinners either it's not going to be found in your matcha lattes either okay you actually need to have a balanced nutrition plan not a diet Okay, this is a whole lifestyle where you want to feel like really sexy, confident, and feminine, babe. And if you don't, then that is when you have to be eating well. I'm not saying that you have to live on vegetables, because I don't. I'm just saying you need to be more balanced. And when you're feeling drained, that is not the time for you to go and pick up high in sugar foods, processed foods, oily or salty foods. That just, just go and eat a salad or something, or like go to a restaurant where you can tell them like, please don't add any salt or salt or oil to your food. It's just going to be so important that you're adding to your body as you're looking to recover your energy. Especially if you're low in energy, you want to make sure that you're adding to your energy. And what you put in your body is going to either add to your energy or take away from your energy. So if you've been feeling tired and exhausted, that is probably why. <laughs> And number five, ladies, love yourself extra. The season's changing, the weather is changing, our mood and energy is changing. And just as women, as we fluctuate through many cycles throughout the month, it's so important for you to love yourself extra. So what I mean by loving yourself a little more extra is going to be being mindful with how you use your time we already spend a lot of time using our phone to do a lot of unproductive things so for me it's going to be like little to no phone use and just not being so overly stimulated taking a magnesium supplement right before bed is going to help so much let me actually show you what i'm using um, so prior to coming on my trip to europe and just traveling through europe i made sure that i brought all my necessary vitamins with me from canada so i got this at a supplement store and it has tons of vitamins in it but why i got it is because it has magnesium and zinc i usually have like zma in a capsule form for bed that's going to help me with sleep it's going to help me recover recharge there's just so many benefits of having magnesium and zinc right before bed especially if you're feeling 
feeling tired or unrested and you wake up and you feel tired, groggy, whatever, this just helps me wake up and I feel full in energy. And so I'm having a liquid form just because I wanted the taste, especially if you like to flavor your water, this would be a great supplement and it's called Unwind. And so they have vitamins in here with vitamin C, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, magnesium, zinc, uh, a lot of other ingredients and vitamins in here. But honestly, I wake up and I feel really good. And whether you're taking this product or just any product with ZMA, or zinc and magnesium, definitely consider that. Also within Loving Myself Extra, I like to make sure that I have few days in the week where I sleep in longer. So that might mean you have to go to bed a little bit earlier. And I don't mean like go home late and then sleep in, right? I mean intentionally plan that you're gonna go to bed early and sleep in longer so that your body can have a longer period of rest because sometimes that seven to eight hour window is just not enough and once in a while and maybe once a week sleeping in a little bit longer whether you're getting nine or ten hours of sleep is truly going to help you when it comes to rejuvenating yourself and boosting your mood and your energy and reducing your exhaustion definitely choose to go to bed early and if you haven't been going to bed early or setting up a bedtime routine for yourself it's so important especially as we enter the winter arc for you to really set up a nighttime routine okay i know that you're coming across so many videos of people doing their nighttime routine it's important that you find a routine that works for yourself and that's going to mean you taking time out of your day to analyze your life analyze what you want in your life and having your reality reflect that so if you want to be this girl this 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 is my dream woman how did your dream woman go to bed like what is her routine because you can't keep watching everybody else in the routine yet and a year later or even a month later you you're still not in a routine that is just crazy to me like and another thing that has also helped me is just having a sunrise alarm clock. As the weather changes, we're waking up more in darkness, which is also gonna add to your exhaustion and being tired and feeling really lazy and unmotivated. And so when I got this alarm clock, this changed my life just to wake up with the sun rising in my room. And honestly, I feel like it romanticizes my morning routine a lot more because I get to control the sun and the sun is in my room versus I'm waiting for the sun to rise. So truly, you have to be consistent in all of the things that I mentioned. If you're not consistent in anything towards your goals, you're not gonna see any results. Like, I'm not sure why you guys think that you're going to get to your goals and see the reality that you desire and you keep giving up or you're just not intentionally doing the things that are necessary there's always the baby steps that add up to the bigger picture you don't have to do everything all at once you just have to do baby steps and just always make sure you have the best mentor would you have me okay if you feel like you want some more one-on-one -on -one love then definitely fill out the link down below and then we can schedule a call now i'm just using on my eyelids gold shimmer i love shimmer on my eyelids kind of ruins my lashes though whatever hey, my girls we're just gonna do my lips I cannot find my lip liner. I think it's in my purse, but I can't find it. The lip liner is from MAC, and then my lip gloss color is Dangerous Curves. Hope you ladies have an amazing day. This is my go-to lip combo. Popping on the shoulders. Look at the shoulders. Ladies, I just started a new YouTube channel, so go and follow me on there. That way you can do my workouts. So I'm gonna be dropping only workouts. I won't even be talking. We're just gonna get right into the workout. And these are gonna be workouts that you can do at home and in person. So send this page, share this page. I'm gonna be posting my workouts on there for you guys to see. I'm also gonna be posting the workouts that I've done with my mom on there. And she is 61, my hot mama pushing through the gym and so i want to be providing you guys with all the workouts that have gotten me the body that i have the back that i have 
like what I definitely go and follow me on there the page is called stronger with shen because i am not only on here getting you mentally strong but i want to see you emotionally mentally and physically stronger with me okay on this journey so thank you guys so much if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button that subscribe button i love talking to you guys giving you all this energy into the rest of your week my ladies we are so close to the finish line so i want you to take some time to be very mindful as you head into the next few days to plan out some time in your schedule where you can just rest and recover meditate pray do some yoga go slow and just don't rush the process of life everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to but if you're trying to rush in survival mode that is when we stumble that is when we start to hit another toe so i need you to just pull it back stop for a second pray just be reflective and grateful for where you are and where you're going it is possible to achieve all that you desire but be very mindful of the process slow down okay breathe girl it is all gonna work out for you i promise you that so the perfume of choice for today is my way love this perfume it makes me feel like i'm grown and sexy entering 30 years old very soon but you can already tell like it's almost done i got this perfume i think in vegas and yeah last year and it's almost done it's my signature scent at the moment but yeah, I'll see you guys later.